Hello, people of the internet. Well, people who people who are watching this on YouTube. Today, I am going to show you how to make a basic website with basic HTML and CSS. This is my first tutorial with HTML and CSS. So, cut me some slack, and maybe if you do, I'll produce more. <laughs> so, I'm gonna open Coda, which is my choice of it's it's a it's the thing I use to code. Um, the link to download this is in the description. Now, right now I'm going to type out the basic HTML template, I would say. Um, so, you're going to start off with every website with doc type HTML. This is declaring the doc type. This is mainly used for Internet Explorer, I believe, but it's good to declare a doc type. Then you're going to start the HTML, and you're going to type in head, title, I'm going to type in my name, and I'm going to do and mid dot semicolon portfolio, and um, the and mid dot that's just a dot. You, you don't have to do that. You can type in whatever you want, but I'm just doing that for the sake of the tutorial. I'm going to type in. Well, don't want to do that. One thing about this, it kind of helps you finish it, so it gets you done faster. But sometimes that happens. Style, not CSS. Okay, let me just finish coding this and I'll explain it to you. You could always pause the video to write all this down. Alright, so this is the declaration, like I said. Start of the HTML, end of the HTML. Every time you end something, you always do a slash. That means end, the code language. See, each one of these has an end. This one ends here, this one ends here. And if you want, if you want, like you, you could write a note saying "end of body" if you want. Well, body, body like that. But I don't need to because I already know what I'm doing. But some things that, like getting into divs, I have to just to understand where the heck am I? I am at. Okay, now this I'm gonna make a simple web page with text. <clears throat> so. Right now, there are a couple things we can do. We can do we can do a paragraph, which is this. This is P for paragraph. Or we can do a header, which is this like one word or two words. Um, so I'm just gonna do a header for one word. Uh, there's header ones. There are header twos. I'll get rid of that. And this goes all the way up to six. Um, the bigger, the larger the number. So like this. The larger the number, the smaller the text is going to be. So I would recommend if you want like a very large title, you can do header one. If you want a small one, you can do header six. If you want like a medium sized one, header three, or like medium header four. I'm just going to do header four. I'm going to type in the standard uh, default text lorem ipsum. Uh, if you don't know what that means, don't worry. It's nothing to do with coding. It's just default text. I'm going to save that as index.html alright and then we're going to make a new document click in this arrow convenient arrow and then we go type I'm gonna start the default CSS template or this is how I do it there are multiple ways of doing that but I believe this is the easiest way and it gets the job done so what you do is you type in body comma header one comma header two header three header 4, header 5, header 6, and this is, I believe this is called a CSS reset, but I, I call it CSS reset. Margin 0, padding 0, and you know, and I'll show you what this means later in another tutorial, but for now we're going to do this, and then body, this is the body, you're going to do background color, and then you do font family, all right, and okay, and from the background color, um, you can use hex code. You can use RGB, but I'm gonna use hex codes because I believe they're the easiest. And I that's all I know. So I'm just gonna do a nice, uh, a nice, um, like a smoked white, which is F H F eight F eight. This is the same color of my website if you've been there. And then for font family, you can do anything you want, but I'm just gonna do Helvetica. Helvetica, new. Then comma another font, and this is in case 
the computer, the user does not have the font installed on his or her computer, it will just, this is a, these are like backup fonts, these are secondary fonts, this is the primary font, the first one's always primary. Then we're going to do Verdana, and then we are going to do Arial. Now, if you didn't do this, I'll show you. Actually, no. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. Yeah. Well, I'm confused. Okay. All right. So enter that in, and then, um, you know what? Um. Okay. Here. Let's just say this is style of CSS, and that's that. Where it says style, that is because of this. If I change this to, say, base, I would have to change this to base on CSS. So you, you probably get the idea. All right, now I'm going to edit with Google Chrome so I can show you in the web browser. And as you can see here, it says Lorem Ipsum. But number one, the font's horrible. It's bold. It looks ugly. And we want to style it up a bit. And the background's white. It's, it's, this is plain. You don't want this. You want it to look sexy. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to uh, quick time player. We're going to go to style. And then we're going to do background background color and you know what I'm going to reopen this so I can edit background color and like I said F8 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 then font fam font size font fa oh, family let's see we do Helvetica like I said you could do uh, you could do secondary fonts but right now I'm just gonna do Helvetica and then I'm going to do um, header 4. So I'm going to do header 4. Then I'm going to type in the color of it. I want it to be an, a nice gray. So E E A E A E A E. And I want it to be in the center. And let's see how that looks. Now you can see here it's in the center with the nice background. It looks a little better, but I want it to look even more better. So I'm going to take off the bold and you can do font dash. Let's take off the font, the boldness. You can do font weight. And you type in normal, and that should get rid of the bold. And yes, that looks much nicer. But it's all the way up here, and I want it in the middle. And this is what you, this is this is a very this is very useful. You do margin, top, and you can do enter 300 pixels, and it should be. Th and that's telling that's telling the web browser make the text which is inside this make any, everything in here. 300 pixels from the top. Now I can show you if we do margin left, 400 pixels. We'll move the text 400 picture pi pixels. Sorry, pixels from the left. We can also do negative 400 pixels. So it goes. It's like less than greater than. It's like a number line. Negative is always to the left. No matter what side, you, you understand, right? <laughs> so, yeah. so that's left. We could also we got, we got, we, got, we could also do margin left, right, which is five hundred. Let's enter five hundred pixels, and it pushes it five hundred pixels from the right. Now, also we could do negative, which is bringing it in five hundred pixels from the left, which brings us here because it's yeah. All right, so but I just want it to be oh my gosh, and then we have text right here. But what happens if you want to make the size bigger? Well, that's easy. Font size 30 pixels. And I just got a tweet from Alex Macintosh, which is X Zeric Tech. <laughs> so we could do that and we could also do we could also do what else could we do here? We could do um hmm. So that's basic text. <laughs> Uh, let's say we want to make link. We what, what we we want to make this a link. What we do is we go to here and we type in a href. A means link. Href means link or where it's going. The reference. And what happens? We want to make it go to Google.com. Um, uh, how about my website? Yeah. Type in a website, and we have to close the a. Yeah. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Where did the color go? And why does it give us this hideous line? But when we click it, 
it brings me us to our well, my website right here. This is my website right here. All right, so that's my website. Whatever, like like promoting my website is that. And as you can tell, it opens it in the same tab. But what happens if we don't want that? What we can do is we can go to we can go here. We can type in target blank, and that open a blank tab right there. But what happens if we want to change the color? Why is it why is it purple and why is there a line under it? Well, that's because it's a link, and that's the default link color. To get rid of that, you type in A. And to get rid of the line, you type you type in text decoration none, and it will get rid of the line. But what happens if we want the color back? Well, all you have to do is go to. There are two ways to do it. You can do go. You can go to here. Type in color, A E A E A E, which will bring us back to the color. Or we, you can go. You can go right here. Header for A, and color. Mm, see, this color is like that. What happens if we want it to hover? What happens if we want to change the color when we hover over it? That's simple. All you have to do is do this header for a colon hover, and we can change it to an orange. I, I know it's a bad color, but actually, no, we want it a darker gray. So now it hover. What happens if we want it so when we click on it, it changes color? Well, you're just, you're just going to type in active. I type in active, I click on it, click on it, it's going to change the color. Alright, now on to paragraphs. Let me get rid of all this. Paragraphs are the same concept, but P's. So, this is my first paragraph. And, yeah. And again, it's back over there. To do that, all we have to do is go to P, text line center, margin top, 300 pixels. I want you to color, like I said. Oh, you don't go here. You go color. Let's give it an orange. I know it's a bad color choice, but for the sake of the tutorial, yes, this is my first paragraph. This doesn't look that bad. So that is basically your first web page, and then oh, with text. So yeah, and you can also go on and on like hello, hello, am if some sixty nine kids, forty two answers, a little nod, yeah. yeah. So you can keep you can keep going on. And you could also make text bold like this, 69. By doing the bold, makes 69 stand out. You could also do it sideways, which is italics, which is em. And this works for headers too. You could also high. You could also um, uh. Add a uh, yeah, that's basically it. You could also change the color of a certain text, certain part of uh, part of this, which is using a span. So, like, if you want to make hello a different color, we could just do span, or we could do span class. But we're, right now, we're just span span classes. All those classes. That's a different tutorial. And we just type in span, and color, and we could do an orange, a yellow. So, wait, what's wrong with this? Oh, it's not, that's not even a hex code. No wonder. So now when I made it, I made it, I made the, I changed the text of this. I, I also could add decorations. And you could add, you could add an underline under it. You could add a border. 
on pixels. So actually, no, that's another tutorial too. Yeah, I'm not really good at planning out this. And you could also have. Here, let me show you a header and a footer. This is way too long. I can't believe how long this is. Hello. You have header and footer. Hello is over there. If you want to move it over here, all you have to do is this. What was that header for? Okay. So you could do header four. Font weight normal. Uh, text align center. Um, margin top. Uh, 300 pixels. And let me show you. This is not gonna look good. <laughs> look at that. What is that? Look at what? Why is this pushed down? That is because that this is 300 pixels down. And this is 300 pixels down. But if you make this 300 pixels down. You can just change this to like five pixels, so it's not like right up against well four. It's so like that. You could also so that's basically text, <laughs> and the other tutorials will involve other things, but this is for now this text. Uh, and I'll talk to you. See you next tutorial. So yeah, bye.